I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It's just great to be with you again, folks. I want to speak to you again about trusting God. You and I need to put more faith in Jesus. Okay? That's how we trust Him for our healing. That's how we trust Him to make a way for us. That's how we trust Him to help us with our burdens. Cast your burden onto Jesus because He cares for you. 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 7. If you go with me to the Gospel of Matthew chapter 14 and just a couple of verses. I've got Snowy here. He's been such a good boy. We've been for a ride and uh, he's just standing by and listening to the message, I hope. Okay, if we look at Matthew chapter 14 and from verse 34 to 36. When they had crossed over, they came to the land of Gennesaret. They'd been in a boat. They came across to Gennesaret. And when the men of that place recognized Jesus, him, they sent out into all the surrounding region and brought to him all those who were sick. Verse 36. And they begged him that they might only just touch the hem of his garment. They said, Lord, don't even pray for us. I can imagine. We can see you tired and you've been, just let us just touch the hem of your garment. That's all we want, Lord, just to touch the hem of your garment. And as many as touched it were made perfectly well. Isn't that amazing? If you go with me to the book of Mark, I love the word of God. Mark chapter 5. It's just the next uh, gospel, Mark chapter 5, and just a couple of verses, verse 25, from verse 25. And this is a beautiful story again. A certain woman had a flow of blood for 12 years. So she'd been bleeding for 12 years. She must have been anemic. She lost all her money. Well, let's listen to what it says. Verse 26, and she had suffered many things from many physicians. She had spent all that she had and was no better. In fact, she was growing worse. Verse 27. When she heard about Jesus, she came behind him in the crowd and touched his garment. For she said to herself, if only I may touch his clothes, I shall be made well. Verse 29, immediately the fountain of blood was dried up and she felt in her body that she was healed of the affliction. And Jesus, immediately knowing in himself that power had gone out from him, turned around to the crowd and said, who touched my clothes? But his disciples said to him, you see the multitude thronging you and you say, who touched me? And he looked around to see her who had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell down before him and told him the whole truth. Verse 34. And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed from your affliction. My dear friend, I want to tell you something now. Time and time again, we see it in the Bible. Blind Bartimaeus, we see it with all the different men and women that were healed. Jesus said, go in peace. Your faith has made you well. I want to encourage you to start to trust God for your faith. You say, Uncle Angus, how do we get faith? Well, according to Romans chapter 10, verse 17, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. We've got to start to trust God the Word of God. We've got to start praying together the prayer of faith. And then we've got to start trusting God. That woman said, if I can just touch the hem of his garment. See, Jesus knew that. The disciples didn't know that. Folks, start to trust the Lord. And he will meet your needs. He's done it for me. He'll do it for you. Until next time, goodbye.